Hello there and welcome back to this week's episode of the Yorkshire Puddings. Today we've got a five metre bell tent which we're going to place around here. Uh, I don't know if you know but I've got a three year old daughter and she loves being outside and I thought with the winter coming what's a better way than being outdoors even when it's raining we can do arts and crafts, even yoga and we can just have a bit of fun outside. I know a lot of people say you shouldn't set a bell tent up under a tree but I want to so I'm going to do it. So you'll watch this video of me setting a bell tent up. I've never done it before in my life. It can't be that hard. And I'll show you some pictures and a small video once it's up in about 10 minutes time. We'll see how we get on. What are you on about, Brian? Could it be used yeah. as a normal tent or is it just for a fixed tent? No, you, a lot of people take these. I've been watching some videos on YouTube. A lot of people get them to go family camping with. You know, I think it's good because uh, they're like fully waterproof and they can stay. Apparently, they can stay up all year round. But what I'll do with this, I went for a brand new one. There were some second-hand ones on like marketplace and stuff like that. But I thought I'll get a brand new one and I'm going to see how long I can get out of it. So anyone who wants to waste a thousand pound on a bell tent to see how long it lasts keep watching this video because I'm going to see how long I can get out of this I'm not bothered about trying to use it and then sell it when I finish with it I'm going to put it under here and just see how long I can get for me and my little girl to come up here hopefully all through winter it should last I'm guessing this time next year if I can get a full year out of it I think I've done well what do you think I bear in mind it. if you go camping to a site they might charge you 100 quid to go for two days and I think if you can get all year out of it average that up i think i've saved this in a few quid and Plus. knowing knowing him knowing john <laughs> he'll probably charge me for camping in it yeah if you want to stop <laughs> at night airbnb if anyone's interested yes 20 this, quid a night right, this is the place to come so i'm just unboxing it now looks like it's in quite a small bag it's quite heavy i don't know if you're not that strong if you be able to lift it yourself but it looks decent quality so far. I'm going to have a little wrestle with this box first. I don't know if you've ever seen the film Rambo, but it's going to be me tonight. I'm going to get my headband on. I'm going to be surviving, I think, for one night with no food. What do you think, Brian? Oh, aye. You could last the night with no food. I could. I doubt it. I'm you used to having no food. You've done a bit in survival department, haven't you? Oh, I have. You had beans on toast, didn't you, for two weeks solid? Yes. Because we dried away, come through. Let's have a look, Winter. Can we have a look inside? Yeah. So, what do you think of this? Good. Are you going to have lots of fun in here? I'm just getting everything out. Mine. So there's tons of room inside this, as you can see. I think I might move in. Shall we live in here, Winter? It's got a little stove there. I've just got to put some paving flag under it. And then up in the roof there, we're just waiting for a flashing kit to come. Winter, are you moving in now already? <laughs> yeah? So yeah, quality looks really good. And as you can see, there it is. Five metre bell tent. 